Hi folks, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna take you around this Golf Arlet, which has completed a custom installation in. So it comprises of Hertz Melee Legend front components, which are just absolutely on another level. I prefer them to the Alders and Voce's and they are generally our favorite speakers. So you've got the Melee Legends up front, you've got a subwoofer in the back, which I'll show you in a second. We've added a digital processor and a lot of class D amplification. So if I take you through the inside, first of all, Milo Legends are a fairly large tweeter, so they won't go in the stock locations in the Gulf, which is actually not ideal anyway, because it's quite directional, that grill, um, and would affect the sound quality. So in here we've done our teardrop pillar builds, which we're very pleased with, as you can see, they look absolutely beautiful sitting in there. And they allow us to get the melees uh, pretty much on axis, which is where they want to be, and away from those nasty factory grills. That's been finished in um, black Alcantara, so it all ties in nicely. With the woofer and the door, it's the usual story. We've done our three layer soundproofing system, which is the back of the door card, the inside of the door skin, and the whole of the door frame. We've then created a baffle, which is solid MDF, um, with a seal around the front of the baffle, which seals it to the back of the door card. And as always, I would say that we've spent five or six hours installing those components. Those little tweeter builds there, they probably took the best part of a day to create. So to do things properly takes an awful lot of time. Um, we've added a digital processor. It's actually the customer's own DSP which is a Audison Bit 10D. And as you can see, the DRC controller is tucked in the glasses holder at the top there, but we haven't just stuck it in there. We've finished it off with a trim panel and finished that in Black Alcantara too. Just behind the DRC controller, you can see the target blue eye. So that's tucked up the top there. What we quite often do with these, little bit trick, we paint them matte black to get rid of all the text off the front of them. We flip them upside down and that allows us to fit them higher up in the vehicle because um, the LEDs are then at the bottom rather than the top. And one thing we always do is install a valet switch. So the valet switch is hidden underneath the column and that allows you to turn the system on and off. So right now you can hear it beeping, that's because it's picking up the fire station. So just to clarify what the target blue eye does, it's emergency services vehicle detection. So it will warn you of all emergency service vehicles or approximately 85%. And that would include fire engines, ambulances, police cars, unmarked police cars, motorbikes. It is 100% legal in every sense of the word. There's no gray area. It's totally legal to own and use. And it's a safety system. I'm just gonna turn it off because it's gonna get a little bit annoying with a fire station next door to us. So that shows you pretty much what we've done the front end of the car. Now let's look at the real magic, which is the back end of the car. So at first glimpse, nothing to see. Nice and stealthy, that's how we like it. But if I lift this panel up here, You've got the incredible JL Audio TW5 13 inch subwoofer. I love this sub. Um, works in incredibly small enclosures. So we've custom built an enclosure underneath it. And we've just put a little details in here to pick up the color of the car down the sides and around the subwoofer. And then you've got some MDF panel over the top of it. Um, at the back there, we've got three JL Audio amplifiers. I'll take you through that briefly. So we've got a XD601, which is a monoblock amplifier, which just runs this subwoofer. Then you've got an, an XD404, so that's a four channel amp. That's bridged to two channel mode, and that is running the Melee Legends in the front doors. A second four channel amplifier. Half of that amplifier runs the front Melee tweeters. The other half of the amplifier runs the rear components, which happen to be Audison Voce's, just to treat the rear passengers. So three lots of Class D power there. It's a very powerful system. As you can imagine, this subwoofer absolutely rocks. It's got tons of excursion. It really makes some air move inside the car. But if we don't want to see it, we literally drop this down and everything's gone. Completely stock, completely stealth. It's what most of our customers like. So there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed another little description of another system we've put together. If you have, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're posting this stuff almost every day or at least once a week. Um, we've got some really interesting content because we do a lot of cars and a lot of hi-fi. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.